Hello my darlings. Anyway, I'm just here to tell you about a book I bought. A book, a book, a glorious book. Ooh, there are spider cobwebs on my roof. Anyhow, but yeah, Demix was having a moving sale or whatever. I don't usually shop Demix, but today they were having a moving sale because they were about to move stores, so this came 20% off and I, I heard about this book and um, when I saw it, I bought it. I heard about it like forever ago and I didn't buy it. And after I bought it and I started reading it, I really regretted that I did not buy this a long time ago. It is amazing. Pretty much it includes facts about almost every cosmetic per thing you could buy. I mean everything separated into brands. There's Dermalogica there, DHC, Estee Lauder. Pretty much there's like three pages of tables of contents of brands in there. It comes this thick, it's enormous, and then it tells you a little bit about each brand. Um, of course, as soon as I got it, the first thing I did was I looked up Mary Kay. Everything comes from, it has a little symbol, a little frowny face, means that she does not like it. A uh, little meh face, you know, the line instead of a smile, means that she sort of thinks it's okay. Okay is actually pretty good. Okay, and um, a little smiley face means that she likes it. And then all the little dollar symbols means that it's a bit expensive for what it is. And um, Mary Kay actually comes out okay. There's a couple of things there she doesn't like. Mostly it's things which I also don't like, like the Velocity set and the old school, um, you know, the old, what is it called? The one with the separate cleanser and then a freshener and then a mask and then a, she hates that, which is cool because I hate that as well. Uh, and then if it has a little tick on it, like that one there does, it means that she suggests it. Like she not only likes it, it's her pick. It's a pick of hers which she suggests. So she loves it. Um, yeah, like I said, Mary Kay did okay. Some of them are good. She's happy with it. Like she ticked it, she's happy with it. It's expensive. Uh, <laughs> sorry to say, Mary Kay. Um, some of them she didn't like. Some of them are surprised that she didn't like. Like she did not like the night solution because it contained potentially irritating products um ingredients but like i've got really sensitive skin and the night solution that has reduced my sensitivity by a long shot ever since i switched to mary Kay, i'm so much less sensitive than i ever was before and things like the um revitalized deep puffer thing she said that there's no proof that these ingredients to puff things but um a friend of mine she has really puffy eyes it's because her eyes are irritated all the time and so she started using it morning and night for like two weeks and they like went down so much I actually felt like asking her to stop using it like every second time like I want her to get regular eye cream so that way every second time she can switch up between that and a moisturizer because she just went so shallow under there it just like whoosh the depuff out like it's just wah, de puffing. but a bit too much I reckon so I wanted her to use only like only at night and like you know moisturize in the morning or something like that She's in there, and then at the beginning, there's stuff like how she became, how they get away with some of their advertising claims, um, the business claims of our study show. Of course, their studies show it. <laughs> Buzzwords, all natural and organic, and fragrance free doesn't actually mean crap. Um, well, potentially doesn't mean tat crap. Dermatologist, dermatologist tested, big pretty words, but it doesn't mean what those tests resulted in. Like seriously, everything's dermatologist tested hits. It just means we tested it. That's the bare minimum standard here, people. Like, of course you should test it. It doesn't mean that they passed the test, it just means they tested it. Oh, that annoys me. Um, it is said that like essential oils doesn't have to actually contain essential oils, they can just be fragrant oils really disturbed me. I'm like, no, that should be like regulated, but it's not apparently. It is a US book, by the way. So maybe it is regulated down here. I thought it was. Then there's how to take best care of your skin. My bookmark fell out, but I will how to take best care of your skin. Um, ingredients to avoid. There's like, you want to use lotion, cream, gel, liquid, uh, daytime brushes, nighttime moisturizers. All sorts of really cool information in it. As soon as I bought it, I felt really bad that I did not buy this a long time ago. This book is fantastic. I mean, just I want to hug the book. Just like, eh. 
So yes, um, <laughs> don't go to the cosmetics counter without me. This is the 8th edition. She keeps on revising the editions as people change their ingredients and stuff. And it's by Paula Beg Begoon? Whatever. That lady. Hopefully you can see. Please tell me you can see. I can't see what you can see. Anyhow. Um, <laughs> so I just thought I'd show you all that. Please go buy it. You'll thank me. You will really, really thank me. Get this book. And that is that. And I love you, my darlings. Bye.